Good morning, everybody. So I just finished editing my video from yesterday, and I got that up and on the channel. We're gonna do it again today. So what I want to do today is is get some videos filmed for my channel. I want to do uh, maybe work on my keyboard video. I need to get that one uh, started, kind of sorted out, and start editing on it. And I'm thinking about doing some other videos, maybe some how tos on how to build some things. I've got a couple things in mind. But first, I need to clean this desk up. Look how look how messy this desk is. This is what kind of a mess I got going on right now. So there we go. Got that taken care of. It looks a lot better in here. I hate being cluttery like that. So I was sitting there editing my video. Obviously, y'all seen in the in the opening shots, it was snowing some. Now the ground's almost covered. Max has been pawing at the door and the blinds and the windows and wondering what the heck's going on and he's seeing birds walking around the yard too so he's trying to go out there and play with them. So I want to talk to y'all right now about a little deal that I ran across a few days ago. It's probably been about, well, I say maybe a week or two ago. I've been looking for a 16 millimeter Sigma lens for my Sony camera. My A6500 that I still use all, all the time. I just haven't been using them for these vlogs lately. But I use this all the time for B-roll and just stuff in the office and getting like really good depth of field shots because I have the Sigma MC11 adapter that I can run the Sigma EF glasses on this. So I use my 18 to 35 millimeter on here a lot and my Canon 50 millimeter F1.8 I use through this. All fantastic stuff. But the focal range you're looking at me right now at is 24 millimeters on a full frame. To get the same look on my Sony camera, I needed to buy a 16 millimeter because it's a 1.5 crop factor for Sony. So 16 millimeters times 1.5 will give you 24. So I ran across one and I wasn't, I didn't really want to buy new because the price, I mean, is 450 bucks, which is in a really good deal for the, for what you get in this, in this lens. But I found it used for $300. I found somebody wanting to get rid of it. It's in excellent shape and it's coming from a guy who wanted to just upgrade to full frame Sony cameras instead of crop bodies. Now he could have kept this and used it on his full frame camera, but I wasn't going to tell him that. I wanted the lens. <laughs> so I went to pick it up. He was at $300 and I tried to go lower, but he wouldn't do it obviously because it's worth way more than that. But it's in fantastic shape. Even the mount on it doesn't even have a scratch on it. So it's not been used at all. He said he had it about maybe a month or two, but I went to pick it up and he had the box and everything. And I looked at it and then he, he pulled out this little pouch right here. Then he said, this, this pouch is a three filter set for the lens. So there's a neutral density filter, there's a color polarizer filter, and there's a UV filter. He gave it to me. So this, I don't know how much this costs, but I know filters aren't cheap. Even a, a cheap UV filter, you're looking at 10 bucks probably. So to have all three of those along with this lens, that's awesome. I mean, I got a, a steal of a deal with this thing and I'm gonna roll some footage of it right now of the snow outside. So these clips are shot with this 16 millimeter. So as you can tell, this combo gets you some really, really amazing stuff. And that F14, being able to go all the way down to F14 is just simply awesome. This is the only lens that I own right now that can go that low. Um, my other Sigma is at F18. My 50 millimeters at F18. Um, what else do I have? Oh, and I've got a really nice 16 to 35 ca uh, Canon lens that'll go down to 2.8, which on a full frame would be really, really cool. I don't own a full frame, so I can't even use it. I just picked it up for the future. but. This thing is awesome. Highly recommended to anybody that has a Sony camera. It's a fantastic lens. And the autofocus on it works excellent. I mean, it's quiet, it's fast, it's, it's almost as good as a native Sony lens. So that's also a plus. So 
guys, I just finished doing my A-Roll shots of my keyboard reviews. So really all that's left is to find some music for the video and to start editing it and putting it all together and making something out of it. Now that's usually the thought out process that takes me a while, but I want to make sure I'm making really good quality stuff and interesting things. So that's why I spend so much time doing that. But that's one step closer to the video being out. So that's going to be coming up very soon. Now I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to go get me a bite to eat for lunch. Let's go. Man, it's cold outside. <laughs> it's really cold outside. I had to brush snow off my truck just so I can leave. And I went ahead and cleaned my window off. That way when I go through the drive-thru, I can uh, I can order <laughs> without having snow fall in my lap. I really hate that right there. Okay, so now I'm on the way to get myself a haircut. It's about that time. I get my haircut like once every what is it, one month or maybe three weeks? I get my hair cut a lot, but I need it. And she can get me in a little bit early today because of the bad weather, so I'm gonna go get myself a haircut. And I should look a little bit cleaner in three, two, one. Like there we go, looking a lot better. I look like my neck's huge. Look how long my neck looks right here. That looks better. I ain't believing it's still snowing out here. It's, it's kind of lightened up some, but it is still snowing. I didn't think it was going to last that long today. I figured it would be gone by now. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here editing some video in the recliner. Max is passed out laying under my laptop, but I got it set. I've got it sitting on him. Check it out. I got my laptop laying on him and my hard drive kind of hanging over his side and I'm sitting here watching TV and editing a little bit getting ready to start on this uh, laptop I mean why do I keep saying laptop getting ready to start on my keyboard review video I think I got some good ideas to use in the video and I'm trying to find a good song to use and or maybe two songs to use because it'll be a pretty lengthy video but I've, I've got all of them organized and and ready to start placing them on the timeline so progress well, the sun's starting to go down wow. now, so let's be creative real quick. Okay, so I just got back in the office now. I'm offloading some files, putting the drone files on here so I can integrate those into the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed the footage that was got with this earlier in the video. This this lens is freaking awesome. It, it is, the aperture goes down to a f1.4, which allows you to get so much light in the camera to get some really unique and professional looking shots out of a crop body right here. So, very cool piece of gear. If you're in the market for like a wide angle prime, definitely definitely look into this one it is it is awesome i wish it was an art lens it's a contemporary version but honestly you cannot tell the difference between it being an art and a contemporary it is, it is it's great another little fact of this video is all of the main shots disregarding the drone and the footage that was got with this kind of showcasing what it can do earlier in the video everything else has been shot with the gh5 with a manual prime lens it's been the, the rokinon 12 millimeters what's been shooting all of this it's an F2 lens and it's prime, it's all manual. So I've done that because I wanna, in a later video, I wanna prove to people that you don't have to have all these wide angle um, autofocus lenses, you know, native lenses to be able to make videos like this. You can do it with anything. There's a little bit more work with doing it with the manual lens and you, you need to have a screen so you can make sure you're in focus. 
but it is definitely possible. But that wraps up this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me if you, if you did. And um, I'm looking forward to making another one. I might do one tomorrow. I'm not sure how my day's going to turn out. Um, I want to try to get this entire video edited tonight and maybe up in the morning or up tonight real late. Just depends on how it works out. I've got a lot of B-roll clips to, to use in this video, so I'm thinking it might be a long one. <laughs> but hope everybody had a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing y'all again on another video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya.